Dear Jessica, goal inventory. This is my meal plan for next week with really healthy meals. Can you see it? Can you see it? I missed my Latin lesson last week, but I got homework for my tutor. My jump rope is sitting right over there on the hook, ready for me to use tomorrow morning. The place I discovered this week was the oral surgeon's office. I didn't take any video because I was in a panic. Well, here I am, alive and well and four teeth lighter. Everything worked out okay in the end. I didn't chicken out, I didn't freak out, and most importantly, I didn't run out. However, I did pass out. Now, I don't remember this exactly. I was told by my dad who was told by the nurse, but apparently when I woke up from the surgery, I pulled one of these. Megan. Megan, are you awake? Hi. All right, very good. We're gonna need you to just sit tight for just a little bit, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that happened. And besides just a little bit of swelling and a little bit of leftover pain, I'm A-OK, -okay. and I go in for my final checkup tomorrow morning. You know, I've been to the dentist four times in the past three weeks. That's more times than I've been to the dentist in the last ten years. I have never known people who take their dentistry as seriously as my half the family who lives up here. So, to see this whole dentist spree out the door, or to celebrate that it's finally over, I've compiled a list of 25 interesting things you never knew about dentists and dental care. Here we go! Tongue prints are as unique as fingerprints. So if you're gonna commit a crime, don't leak anything, okay? The hand you write with usually corresponds to the side of the mouth you usually chew your food on. William Finley Simple, a dentist, was the first person to ever patent a chewing gum. In the early years of dentures, I'm talking 700 BC, materials for false teeth included teeth stolen from cadavers. George Washington, perhaps the most famous denture owner in the US, had dentures made of such things as hippo ivory, elephant ivory, and human teeth. Again, ew. Ancient Aztecs would use a mixture of iron, water, and belly button lint to fill cavities. Putting a cap on your toothbrush is actually pretty bad for it. All the germs and gunk that gets up in the bristles after you've brushed actually multiply more rapidly when you cover it up. It's like a mini greenhouse for your toothbrush. While on the subject of toothbrushes, you shouldn't keep your toothbrush within six feet of your toilet. Flushing your toilet releases particles in the air, the particles float around and land on your toothbrush. The first toothbrush we know of was made in China around 1500. It was made of things like horse hair, hog hair, and badger bristles. Grand Rapids, Michigan was the first city to put fluoride in their water to protect their citizens' teeth. The calcium and phosphorus in cheese is actually very good for your teeth. The combo helps build back enamel. Mmm, cheese, I love you. The enamel on the surface of your teeth is the hardest part of your whole body. The average person spends about 38 and a half days brushing their teeth over their whole lifetime. How about some facts about animals? Dogs hardly ever get cavities because their saliva has a really high pH. The high pH stops enamel wear down. An elephant's molar can weigh up to 10 pounds. Mice and other rodents have to continuously chew on things because their teeth never stop growing. If they stopped chewing on stuff, their teeth would literally grow out of their cheeks. In China, because China is obviously the country that loves their teeth the most, September the 20th is set aside as Love Your Teeth Day. The day is used to promote dental hygiene, especially in grade school kids. Yeah, China is definitely the country that loves their teeth the most. Ancient Chinese used to believe that if you wrote tiny prayers and incantations on a little piece of paper, then wrapped the paper around the tooth that was sore, the tooth would heal. However, across the world, in Europe in the Middle Ages, a common cure for a sore tooth was to kiss a donkey. <laughs> they had to kiss us. It's not a cuss word if you're talking about the animal. But the earliest record of tooth decay goes to the ancient Sumerians. They described the decay as tooth worms. Acidic foods like lemon and other citruses actually do cause the enamel on your teeth to wear down, so be careful. Now one for us literature nerds. The author, Zane Grey, a famous Western novelist, was actually a dentist before becoming a writer. About three out of four people in the U.S. have gum disease. The usual advice to see your dentist twice a year was actually an ad campaign by a toothpaste company. Always the advertisers. And finally, my favorite one. In 1994, a West Virginian convict braided dental floss into a very long rope and used it to scale an 18-foot wall. He escaped and remained at large for a whole day after the event. So that's it, Jessica. That's been your list of 25 things you never needed to know about dentists and dental care. That's all I've got for now. So have a great week, and I'll see you on Thursday.